Then we can keep continuing down to the brachial artery. And the brachial artery is going to supply the rest of our arm. Now if we go to the left upper limb, we actually do not need to use the brachiocephalic trunk. We're going to go up the aorta and the arch. We're going to go to the left subclavian artery, which goes underneath the clavicle. Then once we reach the humerus bone right here, we're at the axillary artery. And then finally on down to the brachial artery. Now let's go ahead and make sure we get blood down to our legs. So recall we can come down the abdominal aorta, split into the common iliac artery to the right and left. And then once we get to the femur bone right here, now we change into the femoral artery. The femoral artery will continue straight down the leg. Notice right here the femoral artery split. So this branch off here is the deep femoral artery. So it goes deeper behind the femoral artery. All right, now let's work on getting blood back to our heart. So we're going to use veins. So veins, for the most part, are blue because they're deoxygenated. So let's start here with the superior vena cava. So we have the superior vena cava coming in from the top into the right atrium. Right here we have the brachiocephalic veins, which is the small v. And then from the head we have the jugular vein. Here we have the internal jugular, which is more medial and larger, and then the external jugular vein, which is more lateral and thinner. Now we have pulmonary veins. Remember those veins just went to the lung to get oxygen, so we're going to look for bright red. Here we have the two pulmonary veins entering the left atrium on the left side, and then the two pulmonary veins on the right side also heading into the left atrium. Now, right here we have the inferior vena cava bringing blood back from below the heart. And we also have the spleen, so the splenic vein is right here. We have the liver, so the hepatic vein is right here. And then we have our kidneys, so these two are our renal veins. So they all merge onto the inferior vena cava to go back to the heart. And then finally down at the bottom, we have our common iliac vein, which also merged into the inferior vena cava to go back up to the heart. 